Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Wednesday, December 27 spoilers for Days of Our Lives show discloses that Jada Hunter spent Christmas Eve in bed with Rafe Hernandez and acknowledged that his place already felt like home. After Rafe revealed that his mother had used Gabby Hernandez de Mura, formerly Kendall Abanes, to decorate the house, they talked about how much Rafe missed his sister. Usually Gabby would make Christmas tamales, but this year Rafe had taken over the role and was going to bring her some in Statesville. Rafe didn't think he could justify being called a nice brother by Jada until he learned who had actually defeated Lee Shin. After engaging Rafe in a game of trivia to divert his attention, Jada tasted some of his tamales and they went back to bed together. During their Wednesday's episode of Days, Jada admitted that she had never felt this way for anyone, not even her former partner. Rafe felt the same way, therefore he was happy to see something deeper and stronger. Wendy Shin, who was conflicted about leaving her life in Salem but still felt a duty to her parents in China, sat on a bench in the park with Trip Johnson. Trip pledged to support Wendy's decision regardless of the consequences, despite his selfish desire for her to stay. Wendy was sitting on the bench with Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, while Trip went to fetch hot chocolate. Although it was tense at first, Melinda was able to persuade Wendy that she grew to care about Lai. Melinda also regretted her lifelong ambition and lack of openness to love. Melinda was full of praise for Wendy and then argued that Wendy was a good judge of character. Wendy acknowledged the praises and asked for some guidance. As a result, Wendy had to confess that she felt conflicted about her feelings for her parents. Since Wendy was the only child remaining, Melinda assumed her parents were placing a lot of pressure on her. Wendy acknowledged that although though she left her parents' expectations and demands behind when she emigrated to the United States, they now desired for her to return to China. Melinda questioned whether Wendy really wanted that, but before Wendy could respond, Tripp brought up the hot chocolate. Harris Michaels questioned who was watching the store while Ava Vitali and Stefan de Mera were outside on Wednesday's episode of Days Behind the Bistro. Ava recommended that while they handled the shipment outdoors, the personnel had it covered. Harris handed Ava his coat to keep her warm after Stefan stole a few flower bags containing drugs and pressed for the truth. Harris was adamant that Ava had to be pushing him away for another reason. Ava stated she wasn't in love with Stefan when Harris questioned if she was. But after giving it some thought, Ava immediately adopted Harris' erroneous belief as a convenient pretext. Ava claimed that they hadn't reached the point of love yet, but she was lying when she said that she was seeing Stefan. After expressing how much Stefan reminded her of Jake Demura, Ava claimed she was sorry for lying and that Harris was a nice man. Eventually, Harris felt hurt and took back his coat, but Ava wished him well and reassured him that she would treasure the memories they had. Harris later cornered Stefan by herself and forewarned him not to mess with Ava because she had already been through enough. Harris maintained that Ava had told him the truth, leaving Stefan perplexed. Harris didn't want Ava involved in his drama, bringing up the fact that Stefan had a wife who was incarcerated and implying that Gabby's predicament was somewhat her responsibility. On Wednesday's days, when she was back with Ava, she ran into Tripp and Wendy before their shared Christmas meal. Tripp stated he hoped Ava understood why they had to do this, and Wendy shared some updates. When Ava inquired about their impending marriage, she assumed that Wendy might be pregnant. However, Wendy reassured Ava that she wasn't. But when Wendy acknowledged she was relocating to China and Tripp said he was going with her, Ava was nearly as astonished. On Wednesday's DOO episode, Tate Black welcomed Holly Jonas into his house and was moved by her sincere apologies. Holly summarized her squandered time and came to the conclusion that her crush on Johnny DeMira was unfounded. Holly now regretted not listening to Tate earlier. Holly apologized for their disastrous evening and for not seeing what was in front of her since she understood that she had treated Tate poorly. 
Tate said that he had given Holly a combined birthday and Christmas gift, despite Holly's declaration that she would not give him another chance if she were Holly. He took it out of the trash basket and gave it to Tate, even though Tate had destroyed it after their altercation. Pride and Prejudice was initially published because Holly adored Jane Austen. Holly was thrilled with Tate's considerateness and felt that it was ideal. Tate proposed that they attend to the Bistro's New Year's Eve celebration together after Holly gained the courage to ask for a second chance and a second date. Days of Our Lives spoilers indicate that Tate and Holly's second chance date will go horribly wrong, so be on the lookout for the terrible announcement that will be revealed soon. According to the Thursday, December 28 spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Eric Brady and Sloan Peterson Brady will spend some quality time with Jude Brady as family, but Leo Stark will interfere and ruin their happy day. Naturally, at some point Leo is going to corner Sloan by herself and give her what may be her last warning about caving in to all of his demands. Leo might be advised to just shut up and back off by Sloan, who looks ready to give in on most of them. Day's teasers state that Nicol Walker Demira's first therapy session will begin in the hospital when Marlena Evans greets her in her office. Given that Nicol has previously experienced a great deal of grief, she is likely to be transparent about the anguish of losing her baby boy. Nicole will appreciate the advice, and Marlena will do her best to lead her along the path of healthy healing. Fans of Days of Our Lives are aware that Nicole's baby is still alive and healthy, but according to previews, Sloane will try to keep Leo content in order to hold off on telling anyone. Paulina Price will meet with Kayla Johnson after receiving a motivational speech from Chanel Dupree. Paulina's symptoms suggest that she may have hypothyroidism. Therefore, Kayla will discuss her situation with her. But the mass on Paulina's neck is also a cause for concern. So we'll wait and see how soon the biopsy results come back. Paulina is anxious to hear back since she believes she may have cancer. Day's teasers indicate that in Thursday's DOL episode, Constantin Nelemnis will experience a startling kidnapping in the park. Someone will unexpectedly kidnap Constantin which can cause some worry. Since Constantin has already shown that he cannot be trusted, this may be just another in his cunning plans to win Maggie Kyriakis' affections and her inheritance. On the other hand, Constantin may very well be abducted. Maybe someone like Steve Johnson will force Constantin into detention in order to obtain some information. In any event, Constantin has some really bad opponents. It would be interesting to see whether any of them decide to get even with him. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Constantin might run into some problems. It will be interesting to watch how he handles the matter. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.